All right, Lawrence. Challenge. Four. Yeah. Tennis. And ball. And today we're going to do defending the corner. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, last season indoors we made a clip also uh, about uh, defending the corner, and then we don't mean a penalty corner, but the corner of the pitch. Uh, we made a little mistake, the, the, the rules changed. And then we had that the goalie helped out the defender to protect the corner, uh, to, uh, to defend the corner, and we made a gap every time, but we changed the gap, and that's not allowed. So uh, it is allowed to help out your defender, but there has to be an opening to uh, lead for the attackers, but it has to be the same. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay. 2.0! 2.0! That's a new rule. Is it a new rule, Dennis? <laughs> nah, I think it changed. I think it changed. Back in the days, when I, uh, I played, it was a lot. Mm. Uh, but now, uh, a ref told me, uh, hey, you made a clip, so good thing. The refs also watch your clips. And they, she said, no, no that's uh, not allowed anymore. Uh, there has to be a fixed opening uh, where they can leave. Okay. So where, what is the exercise? The exercise, we're gonna play the ball into the corner to an, uh, to an attacker. A, defense, uh, a defensive player is gonna uh, move in and I'm gonna move in as well uh, to protect the corner and make that sure that they have to play it back uh, to their uh, defenders again. And then we can move back out of the circle. So you, we don't want them in the circle. So that's why we keep them over there so they have to go out of the circle again. Okay, let's do that. Estian yesterday bought, borrowed my helmet and he has a big head. Absolutely. Adjust it. Adjust it again. Let's see Anya's big head. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So much energy, the guy. That's not allowed. Actually, the movement was helped during explaining. I will do my helmet, take it off. 
Um, the idea is that maybe when you have a player less, and there's one over here, you really, really want to put pressure. Otherwise, when this guy can walk in and pass it or maybe go on goal, you're in big trouble. So what we want is when they are in the circle, we're going to put so much pressure on them that the only option they have is play it away outside of the circle. So okay, if they can enter to the center of the circle, that can never happen, of course, but when it happens, you cannot really put pressure and put them on the sides to make them sure they go back again. But on the corner, you have um, the boards to use uh, and help them over there. So if Poch closes in over here, I will close in over here, and I make sure that I'm low enough over here, that we with both feet on the ground, and my stick is making a, a, a line with his glove and his stick. So the only way Paul now can go is that way. And with my body, I make sure that the ball high on goal is not an option anymore. Yeah, so now use it with my helmet. I got some comments that I was explaining something without a helmet on. Oh shit. In front of the goal. So now I can still talk. Okay, so um, let's say. Okay, Paul, we do it in a slow motion. <laughs> Ref, penalty corner! We do it in a slow motion, Paul receives the ball. This moment I want to be over here. This is close, my body is for the ball high on goal. The only thing that he can do is play it high over my stick over here. But it's a high ball in front of the goal, so it's not allowed. So that's not allowed. So I make sure that my stick makes a block over here against the glove of Volk so that makes a big big line where the player, the other player cannot go past because he can't lift the ball so the only option they have is play it back and if they play it back you have exactly what you want you want them out of the circle again and they play it back I go back to my position Volk gets a bit inside uh, but still has his vision on him so when it happens again, boom, we go out. Then why don't you make it a smaller gap? Yeah, it can be. If you can put more pressure, we can make it a smaller gap. That the only way is pass the boards uh, back. It's so really it's important then because it's if I, uh, like, if Dennis can come go down, yeah. If I would go like this, yeah, there's still a gap for the ball to go in between. But if the ref is like a really wide ass, uh, yeah. stupid ass, yeah. Yeah, then it will go for that. That's a penalty stroke because I don't leave enough space for yeah. Paul to go outside. Yeah, it can also be the gap over here, but that would be really weird. Yeah. And stupid. Come on, Paul. And stupid. Yeah, go on. Let's go. Go and score. Go we'll score. It's just a friendly. Ah! <laughs> All right. Okay, so the difference now than what we did last year is that there has to be a fixed position and preferably uh, at the boards and as uh, tiny as possible but still wide enough to make so sure the ref doesn't whine yeah um, and stay there and make sure they cannot do anything but pass the ball back that's the only option they have and then you can go back to your goal yeah so that's the difference than what we did last year nice you like it they like it give a thumbs up like it um, if you have any comments, maybe, maybe you know another uh, example of how to do this, please leave it in the comments and also follow us of course on the other channels. Like Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram. Instagram. Thank you for